Legend has it that somewhere around here is the longest underground lava tube uh, in North America. Jack and I are all geared up. Uh, we're going on an expedition today to see if we can not find and explore this underground cave. Uh, Alright, you want me to lead for a while or are you still good? I'm still good. You can come on. Alright, let's scurry in. You want to be sure if you're exploring caves that you have lots of extra lights. Otherwise, you're going to be in the dark for a while. We'll have uh, three lights. Because if you lost your light in here, you would, uh, you would never get out. <laughs> Yeah. That's about two foot, really in a tight spot here where you gotta lay on your back. Or I do anyway. Kind of slither through. Oh, it's opening up, Jack. Yep. Alright. We just discovered water. We're in the first bit of water. We can hear a waterfall. Shine your light back there, Jack. What do you see? Can we crawl? Can we get through it? Yeah. But now Papa's spinning his way through the crack. It's tighter for me than it is for you, isn't it? Yeah. So we're starting to climb up a little bit now. Yeah, it'll be really exciting. Oh, look at that. So we're several, we're probably a quarter mile in or so. It's been uh, crawling on our bellies, but now it's opened up into a big room. Show your light up there, Jack. There's some yeah, sort of a phosphorescent looking stuff there. But they're caverns in all different directions. You have to really be careful and not get lost in here. Yeah. Oh, this is a long crawl, Jack. What do you see up there? Um, Are you standing? Uh, I can't. I'm sitting. Papa, it's time for a snack. What do you got there? Lifesavers. Can I have a red one? And I'll see one. We're building little rock mountains for whenever we come to intersections so we can remember which way to go, We've not get lost. We ran into lots of forks here, like this is a perfect example here, and we don't want to, definitely don't want to go get lost in here tonight, do we? Nope. I mean this cave, the cathedral. We just, just opened up into a huge cavern. We'll call it the cathedral. There's some cave-ins right there. That gets you, uh, this is a reminder that well, there's not much you can do about it. If it caves in, it caves in, right, Jack? Right. So, you know, what we're in is not really a cave. It's a, well, it is a cave, but it's a, it's a lava tube. We're um, at the base of one of the, ca the volcanoes at the Cascade Range. And who knows when, but you can see this was a, is all melted rock. It looks like mud, but it's solid rock where lava flowed through this enormous chamber during the last volcanic eruption. Hollow. Oh, don't don't do any damage to it, Jack. Just leave it like you found it. Yes, sir. Let's continue on. What direction are we going? We're going. Uh, I'm still heading west, Jack. So let's continue on a little bit further. We've been in about an hour, maybe an hour and fifteen, and the air is thick, isn't it? Can you feel it? Yeah. But I do feel a breeze, so there must be an opening somewhere around here. All right, I got your light. All right, we we come to the end of this big chamber. To the tightest squeeze that we found yet. Uh, can you shine the light over here? Yeah. Mind your head, Jack. Move your head the other way. It's bigger over here towards me. Yeah, come over this way. There you go. You're in a kind of a crux there. All right, here. Take this flashlight with you. I want you to shine, uh, crawl down there in your belly. Shine your light. See if we can continue on. What do you see? About that way. Is it? About um, to the west, right there. Okay, come on out.
So we're about an hour and a half in and it's starting to get really honeycombed in here and we're just a little concerned that uh, without a map or normal where we're at that we might get turned around. So uh, Jack, I'm going to put the responsibility of you to get us back. You remember how we marked all of the trails with the coolars and it's your responsibility. So are you up for it? Yep. It's going to be hard to find our battery marker though. Well, take your time. Make sure you uh, know exactly where we're at at all times. Aye. So we went in, come in at a westerly direction, southwesterly, so we're going to go back just the opposite of that. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. We're almost out. I've, I'm glad to see that light at the end of the tunnel there. I was 95% uh, sure we were on the right track. <laughs> so uh, nice to get out in some fresh air, huh, Jack? Yeah, I haven't even gone out yet. Good leading. I'm glad to be out of there. Well, I'm, I feel kind of sad to leave it, but I'm still pretty glad. <laughs> Caving is hard work. Boy, that's a lot of work. Well, it was for me, I had to crawl around while you were just walking around because you're short. Yeah, that was pretty nice. <laughs> so I'm going to share with you, Jack, and with everyone who's watching the story about the hemlock tree. The hemlock tree, you can always tell because the top of it is all bent over. And the hemlock tree has the smallest cones of all the conifers. You know how it got to be that way? When God was passing out all of the favors to the trees, giving them all of their attributes, the hemlock was greedy. And it started pushing and cutting in line and kept leapfrogging and working its way to the front because it was afraid it was going to miss out on something. And it uh, cheated and cut its way in front of a lot of the other trees. And when it got up to the front, God had seen what that hemlock had done and said, Hemlock, you go to the back of the line. And so he was so sorry for what he had did that his top bough always bends over in shame. And because of his greed, he was given the smallest cones of all the conifers. That's pretty sad for So a whenever tree. you see a hemlock, you can remember that story. That's always sad for a tree, Dad. The smallest pine cones. <laughs> <laughs> You always want to leave the forest in better condition than you found it. It's so nice to be back at the van. Isn't it? Yep. Cannot wait to get in. I'm ready for a little chocolate malt and some pizza. Yeah, me too. Oh, the mountain, she's out proud today, isn't she, Jack? Nice to see it. It was worth the wait. 